The Arturian Group Message, October 4, 2015 Dear Ones, in this time of change and new beginnings, we urge you to let go of any remaining expectations, for expectation only serves to hold you in concepts, mind pictures representing something you have read or listened to with regard to ascension. You are creating a new world, not forming it out of what is already known. Learn to rest in the now at all times, knowing that this is a spiritual universe and all our spiritual beings while allowing each day to unfold without resistance. This practice will lead you into an ever-deepening consciousness of love and gratitude as you begin to see everything as being part of a divine plan no matter how difficult or unholy it may appear to three-dimensional thinking. As we have previously stated, this does not mean being a doormat or allowing oneself to stay in an unsafe environment. Lifetimes past and present held struggle and very little support for those seeking truth, but those times have drawn to a close for most of you. You have done the work, often being punished for it, and it is now time to rest, live, and be that which you have attained. One cannot stay in grade school after they are ready for high school or college just because a friend or someone close may still need grade school, or even because some expert says they must. The time has come for all serious students of truth to move into their power as awakened spiritual beings, while at the same time moving courageously through whatever remnants of the old may still operate in or affect them. As an individual evolves into new and higher ways of resolving karmic issues and remaining lessons, he no longer needs the intense problems, accidents, and difficulties previously required for awakening. Most of you are there now. On earth there will always be difficulties of some sort whether yours or another's, but now you have new, higher, and guided tools with which to resolve them. You are powerful beings of light, but this truth must be acknowledged and lived until it becomes a state of consciousness and not just nice words in a book. If an individual is ready to take this step but refuses to leave what is old, comfortable, and familiar, he will probably get wake-up calls in the form of difficult experiences, serving to force him deeper and into what he is spiritually ready for. Victimhood can no longer be a part of the consciousness of serious students of truth. Most are not aware of how much change is actually taking place. Note world movements for peace, animal rights, freedom of information, and other issues that 20 years ago would not have been considered important by the vast majority. Notice also how people are starting to take a long hard look at commonly accepted beliefs as well as examining more closely the motives and intent of world leaders. You are reclaiming your innate power through listening to, resonating with, and living out from inner guidance instead of blindly aligning with the often limiting concepts of some expert, government, church, or person. You are learning to stand in the power of self which does not mean that you can never be taught truth from an evolved minister, expert, teacher, or friend. However, the bottom line must always be yours, based in an inner knowing of what is right and appropriate for you. We wish to speak of the new energies. Most of you were aware of the full moon and eclipse bringing highlight frequencies. Do not believe that nothing happened based on appearances, for new light energies did come and are available, but the integration of them only takes place as an individual is capable of receiving them. Very few are able to fully integrate high frequencies all at once, because the physical, emotional, and mental bodies must be prepared to accept and resonate with them. Never doubt that your higher self will see to it that you receive everything you are ready for as you are ready without effort on your part other than to live out from your highest sense of truth. Always remember that you are being guided and assisted at all times. No one, not even the very unawakened, are ever left to struggle through a life on earth alone. Your job as evolving students of truth is to rest in the awareness that this is a spiritual universe governed by love and peopled with spiritual beings. Do not spend time worrying about whether or not you are ascending or doing it right. Living out from your highest sense of right in each moment is all that is required. So much third dimensional thinking regarding spirituality is limiting, how experiences must look or feel in order to be valid. These are concepts based in and handed down from someone's belief system. Experiences others may have had were valid for them but may not necessarily be right for you. 
DNA will activate as you are ready, chakras will be clear and open as you are ready, and fifth dimensional experiences will happen as you are ready. All the courses taken, practices engaged in, and efforts put forth to attain these things can help, but the fullness of the experience cannot take place until the soul is prepared. Hold the intention to evolve while practicing what you already know, and more will be given. Ascension does not simply drop into one's lap without preparation. Each step taken along the way of lifetimes adds to and finally brings forth a fully aware state of consciousness that results in your creations, manifesting outwardly on increasingly higher levels. Love everything. Love the bad as well as the good. Love your faults and love those who do not love you. Love the thoughts that pop into your head that may cause you to react with fear, anger, resentment, jealousy, etc. For there is nothing but God, and as you learn to love everything, you stop giving appearances power, causing them to lose their punch. An evolved state of consciousness automatically dissolves old learned behaviors and beliefs such as being less than or unworthy. Learn to laugh at honest mistakes and you will soon discover that the sky doesn't fall down, your guides don't leave you, nor do you stop spiritually growing when you make a wrong choice. This is what lifetime spent in the third dimension have been about, stepping and falling, stepping and falling. You chose to be here and you learned. Most of you are now finding or will soon find yourselves assisting others to also grow and learn who and what they are. Rejoice in every opportunity whether it is just throwing out a seed of truth or actually teaching another, but never seek out students, force, proselytize, or work to save someone, for there is only one, and that one doesn't need saving. As you radiate more light, you will attract some who seek to have your light instead of finding their own. These dear ones are not usually interested nor prepared for the deeper truths. Those ready for what you may have to give them will find you. Trust your intuition and allow yourselves to be guided as to the readiness of any who seek you out. Keep your work with others on the level of compassion and not sympathy, for sympathy will align with the other's lower resonating energy. Compassion is a more detached way of viewing another's issues, and allows you to offer the words necessary for the person to hear at their level of awareness while you continue to hold your light. In unconditional love and awareness, we are the Arcturian Group. Channeled by Marilyn Raphael. www.onenessofall.com